and bring on a, a 25-year-old idiot who, who needs a bat to the head. I mean, I think he works in a mall. you would love to be able to get, find Edward Hubbard. And guess what they talk about for the first two minutes? It's Edward James Hubbard. They don't like the guy, but who do they talk about? Edward James Hubbard. He owns the soul of Haggy Rance. He owns his soul. He does. He owns it. And it's Kendall, too, as well. If Edward Hubbard was my nephew or any of my family, Kendall wouldn't be around. He'd be, but again, I'd break those hands that hurt people. That, that idiot needs, I'm sorry, I'm not saying violence here. <laughs> if someone can. What's up everybody? My name is Edward James Hubbard. United together we take a huge stand against bullying and cyberbullying. Why I care so much and why I'm so happy to be alive now. Because many a times I could have been dead. But I have survived it. I've survived a lot of things. I've survived a bus wreck. I've survived a couple car wrecks. I survived where there were shootouts. I've survived just like many people have probably done, done too. Just don't want to talk about it and that's fine. You don't have to talk about it. But I also want to show you people the town that I love and it seems that I always come back to. Charleston, West Virginia and Dunbar, West Virginia. I feel kind of stalkerish doing this though. No! Sleep! Till Dunbar! A lot of people, like, when I talked about, were like, you should go to his house. I think even you were like, you should go to his house. And I'm like, no, like, I don't want to look like fucking Stephen Boat, you know, armchair yeah, PhD. True. And, uh, but then, you know, we started thinking about it, and it's like, well, you know, there's really, there's, we're not breaking any laws by being in the road. You know, like, no. I mean. You, you didn't break any laws at all. No, no, no. We didn't break, we didn't break any laws at all. Oh shit, he's going up there. I'm saying that you have to do it again and knock on the door. Mm mm mm. That's the only. Alright, bitches, I went all the way up there. Now, let me, let me ask you something. Mm -hmm. Now, you looked, when she pulled into the driveway, you seemed like really upset about that. Yeah, I, I was because I thought that was just pulling in the driveway was taking it a little too far. And I didn't know. I was afraid she was going to do something insane and like get out of the car because she's she's fucking crazy like that sometimes. <laughs> I don't think she would do that. But I was like, I was, I, mean, I was waiting for it. I was I was waiting for it. I'm like, oh, my God, go knock on the door. And it didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 dude. No. I don't think he's going to answer. Well, I tried, you guys. I knocked. You guys haven't seen Tyndall's newest video where he went to Hubbard's house and knocked on the fucking door like a fucking retard. And what I want to say first before I start interrogating is, what the fuck is wrong with you, dude? Like, I, I you know, I, I love the continents. I love the fucking shit. It's funny as hell. But, dude, what is wrong with you? Because here, here's the shit. I would never, ever, ever, and T, back me up on this, man. You, maybe you disagree, maybe you agree, but I would never, ever in my life knock on that motherfucker's door because here's here's the deal. The guy is mentally unstable. The guy is mentally unfit. And you go and knock on his fucking door? Like, dude, what would you have done if that motherfucking inbred, retarded, insane fuck would have come out with a butcher fucking knife and just stabbed you in the fucking throat, son. What the fuck? Well, first things first, I didn't technically knock on his door because I didn't need to. Like, everyone in the chat... Because no. you're, you're a pussy. You no, no, I was yelling at him. Like, I was yelling, like, no, Edward... You're, you're, you're a fucking pussy. You sent your fucking girl to do it because you're a pussy. No, no, I went up there first. No, uh, you hide behind a fucking skirt, dude. You, are you, are you going to let me talk or are you just going to be a dick? I'm going to let you talk, but I'm going to say this right now. Um, maybe, I don't know, okay, going up the stairs.
There's the note. My heart's kind of racing, you guys. <laughs> I knocked on the door, I'm waiting. I don't think he's gonna answer. Well, I tried, you guys. I knocked. Yeah, I guess he's hiding. I don't know. For you, dude, like, I, you know, I totally disagree with what you did. Like, I'm not like knocking you. I'm not against you. But I'm, I'm, I'm saying what you did, like, in my eyes, was completely wrong. Because here's the deal. You have a fucking guy who's, who's who's as mentally unstable and who's, you know, retarded, and you're going to go knock on his door? Like, dude, uh, continue. Well, well, I, well, let me, at at the just, end of the wanna, story, I will explain my reasoning. And I just want to add something really quick here. Yeah, what on, let, let's see, talk. Go ahead. Tyndall didn't break any laws. He did nothing wrong. But no, and I'm not, I'm not saying he broke any laws. But, but, but if the person who lives there, he's so mentally deranged, like, if he was home and that I had a gun, like he would have got shot because he's so fucking crazy. Well, the like, thing is, the thing is, the and only I see way where the safety comes in. The only way, yeah, I agree. But the only way he could acquire a gun is illegally, okay? Because he can't go to a store. Sabrina and purchase, could have a gun, dude. But possibly, that's what I'm saying, dude. You, I, I hey, didn't know what I was walking in with a goddamn butter knife or something, dude. I don't know. Anyway, continue. Well, uh, I'll tell you, too, like, what my plan was if he was there. So, anyway, like, I was honking the horn, yelling, because, you know, I mean, it's midday on a Sunday, like, it, nobody cares. And that wasn't getting any attention. So, I'm like, he's either hiding, he's not home, or he can't hear me. And so, I'm getting frustrated. Like, we got all these people, wa I mean, a, a stupid-ass amount of people watching for what the fucking content is, to be honest. And so I'm like, you know what? I was like, fuck it. And one of the safety things here is the in front of his house, there's parking. Like there's like like city parking, I guess you would call it. Like where they have lines. Well, that's, that that's, just, park. That, that's just that's just that's just that's just street like. You yeah. Park well, there, anyway, you know. so there was plenty of parking, like in a good escape route. So like I was parked there. I left the car running with Miranda in it, you know, in case shit hit the fan. And I was like, I'm going to go up. So I walked up and I started yelling more to see if he could hear me to see if I could get a reaction. And then I think I came back and said something to Miranda. And then I was like, fuck it. You know, I'm going, I'm going up there. I'm going up to the door. You know, I'm going to go, I'm going to go see what's up. So I, like, I was, I was definitely kind of nervous walking up because like th the way that he films, it doesn't really like get the, All right, let me, let me interrupt. Can you, can you explain the scenario. Can you fuck? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That was my impression. Like when you rolled up, like to me, that was like rolling through the city of Harrisburg and seeing like a crack house. Like I don't want to say abandoned, but pretty much like damn near. You know what I'm well, saying? It's like yeah. crack houses, dude. Like just to me, to enough. me, it looked like to me, it looks like that was an abandoned crack house and Hubbard lived yeah. in the garage in the back alley yeah. above the abandoned crack house. Like it's yeah, yeah, exactly. So. So there's like a fucking like a normal house, and then there's like a like an attachment. Well, there's or like, like there's a shack, and then there's like a mini shack with a two car garage behind it that basically has like an apartment like loft above it. So is it like a like an efficiency like a like a like like dude? Can you please explain that? Go ahead. All right. So like, um, okay. I hate to reference this, but like you know McJuggernuggets, and they have like that Morton building shit that where they store like cars and shit. No clue. No, I'm sorry. And, all right. All right. Anyway, so, uh, well, that, uh, that was a decent example. Anyway, just picture, okay, picture a crack house, like a all decent right. sized crack house. We'll say three bedroom crack house. Right, right. Okay. Right. With, a, with a little extra property compared to the other neighboring crack houses. So <laughs> they build a smaller crack house to all the right. diagonal of. No, 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 no. He's a troll. Let him, let him troll. Let him troll. I'm just waiting for my address that he don't have. So Take once you weapons. once I'm you put it. my address in the chat, 
then maybe I'll give a fuck. And actually, I still won't, because if you come to my house, you're gonna get shot, because I've got like 17 guns in this motherfucker. So, I would not recommend that. I won't be like Hubbard. I'm not gonna say, oh, here's my address, come to my house. No, I'm saying if you somehow find my address, which is damn near impossible, if you show up to my house, I'm calling the cops. If you step foot on my property, I'm shooting you, period. So if you want to die, feel free to come to my house, but you're going to get shot with a hollow point 9 millimeter at the at the best, that's all you're going to get. If I'm pissed off enough, then you're going to get an AK with hollow points. And they call that a chopper for a reason, because it cuts people in half. So don't come to my house, man. I live in Virginia, dude. Don't... Don't even, don't even try. Not that anybody knows where I live, but don't even try, dude. Like, you, you don't want to come fucking around here, dude. This is a good place to get fucking shot by insane country people. And I'm not an insane country person, but you set foot on my property and uh, I don't like you, then, uh, yeah, you're getting shot. Because I, I really don't give a fuck. But, um, watch this. Shot him in the nuts! Death by nuts! Fuck yeah. YouTube's supposed to be a place of business and supposed to be a place of helping out other people. And not hurting people as many as has done online. We're supposed to be able to have fun and be able to do the right things. And not hurt each other. People want to say that I don't take blame for my own actions or anything at all. I take blame for a lot of my actions, believe it or not. <laughs> I've learned so much in the past couple years. Almost a couple years being on YouTube. You could stand up for what you believe in. You don't have to back down from what you believe in. But I lost hope, and I still have lost a lot of hope, especially against cyberbullying or about bullying, period. It just seems like our world don't care, hair or our parents don't care about the kids. Um, I know I'm letting you all know that I'm actually getting ready to move What's up, everybody? <coughs> so, I wanted to show the new place and stuff. Right here. Gotta do some little bit of cleaning. That's about it. But yeah, and this is my new place in Sabrina's. But uh, the other stuff that the other people did was kind of real serious. Like he come into my place and I had to move clear to Boone County so he couldn't even find me. I'm kind of glad I did because I got a nicer place. A lot of better place than I had what I had last time. Now Hubbard said he was moving to Boone County and Boone County is uh, southeast of Dunbar I believe. Um, it's farther from Charleston and everything so he uh, there, there's a lot less shit there. I don't know why he told people he was moving to Boone County that was a, a bad fucking idea. It makes him way too easy to figure out where he lives. But, um, I mean, he's, he, he's fucking retarded, so what do you expect? Cactus, you guys already, did you actually find Hubbard's new address, or you think you did? Six minutes ago, so tonight on Tendo show. No, nope, he's talking about me right now. On there. <laughs> he's talking about me right now, dude. My show's not even over.
He's dead on Tindall's show. Tindall's show's not over. Or anything, but I think it's time that I do stand up for myself and be able to speak about it. Ah, shit, I'm getting sued. Rumors have been going around. Rumors mm. have been going around that Tindall is Better go going buy a case of Doritos. On his show, my sister. Oh, he's mad that we're going to have a sister on. there's a on. possible chance that... He's flipping the fuck out about sis, it. Uh, it could be a pre-recorded... I was kind of disappointed that number didn't work into everything. Oh, it's okay. I'll pay her 50 bucks if I have to. Also, at the same yeah, we'll time... Also, at the same oh, yeah, time, dude. too... I'll be like, do you want to trash Edward for 50 bucks? Me and my haven't talked in a while. See, and he just said they haven't talked These in a while. Have literally had been he has no of way of knowing. Nephew who is autistic. Oh, and here comes we, the, we bullied his nephew. Not, I didn't even know he had a fucking nephew. Mine by DNA mean not. Uh, he's uh, mine by DNA? Did that is, motherfucker do. We do know Shit, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. In front of my nephew who is autistic, we know that he is not. Mine by DNA. <laughs> oh my god, dude, he's lying. He's lying. Oh shit, dude. Oh my god, dude. Dude, chat, are you guys seeing that shit? Like, I just caught it, dude. Like, dude, T, did you did you get any of that? I mean, I know you're obviously like here yeah. on the show. Oh, but yeah, I got it on del the delay there. But yeah, I got that. Holy, that's just. Oh my god, dude. Dude, he fucked his sister, and she had his fucking baby. Dude, that's what a liar does. Like, that's an idiot that doesn't know how to lie properly. I mean, dude, every sign of it, dude. Jesus. Wow, man. They look almost like they Dude, I mean, well, <laughs> didn't we... Where were the pictures? I mean... Hold on. You guys can fucking tell me. I think if I can get to him. Hold on, I'll let this keep me playing. not. Ugh, sorry. He. In private. He just put that video in private. Are you serious? She sat there and said. That Good. I'll let the whole motherfucking thing run, guys. We're doing a five-hour stream. <laughs> We got 30 all. minutes left of Edward. Go fuck yourself, so Edward. She wanted to continue. Try Finally, to take I fucking shit down that I'm using content from my live stream. You go she fuck yourself. Like I'm gonna play this whole motherfucking thing. Let me go find right more pictures of your son. Hold on. Attacked me. In my Let me go email. find more Edward Jr. She denied. You want to fucking play like that? You want to fucking you want to fucking stalk me and then fucking lie about me and shit? I had took the stand against her. Fuck your ass and make you humble, you fucking idiot. I told her not to literally. You clearly were at home when I came by, and you fucking pussied out and fucking hid in your house. Stuff. Call me With a stalker, no and then make his all. shit private when I'm roasting him. Fuck him. Because a lot of things were bothering me, and I was getting a lot of depressed. A lot of things were bringing me down a lot. It was hurting a lot. I know gonna have to but I have to keep up. on doing good. Jack. I'm going to have to clean this up, and I'm okay with that. You're okay with, and you're okay with that? Yeah, okay, give me him. I need you to watch him. So nah, I got him. I got him. I mean, I'm going to fight anyway. <laughs> ain't that right? Because I can't find him at. Yeah, ain't that right? Oh. Oh, ah. Oh. It's always about that, Jack. Oh. It's always right there. Just smile. <laughs> Tell everybody hi. Say hi. You're like, what is that? <laughs> huh. Say hi. But everybody have a great day. Deuces.
four hours, man. All I gotta say. The fuck is Edward Hubbard? Where is he? It's like where's you know, Hubbard? and I know a lot of people say like that's all you guys do is talk about him. Um, actually, we don't. I don't think we've even talked about him in a long ass time. To be honest with you, but uh, we were talking earlier, and we we're like, "Yo, here's the options." You know how like all Keemster does is talk about Jake well, Paul. Wait, 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 wait. Why don't we just make money off this fucking shit? And that's what we've been doing ever since. But he did disappear about two weeks ago. And, I mean, we haven't really been talking about him anyway, but, uh... Anyway, put the puzzle pieces together, okay? He disappeared. He's got nobody but Sabrina. So, Sabrina right. could have him committed, right? Isn't that what they always told us, like, at... Well, he, technically, yes, because they are family. Even though they're boyfriend and girl, they're still cousins. Well... <laughs> so, technically, yes. <laughs> because when I tried when I tried to get him help, they were like, you need to be his, his family. I mean, you guys heard if, it. I called okay, several times. Let me times. ask you this, though. What if you don't have family? Like, what if, like, you just have, like, a significant other? Can they, that, uh, if they're your only, if they're your power of attorney, like, if you got no family that wants anything to do with you because you tried to rape them or something, or you did rape them. And no. Remember like I said that, that right? and she's, she's like, no, you have to call 911, and then they will deal with it. So maybe somebody did that? I don't know. Well, I mean, I could see Sabrina doing that, dude. Like, I mean, if she, think about it this way, dude. If she took, like, because if she took his phone, dude, he would flip. Like, dude, we've seen his meltdowns. But can you imagine, a, like, a meltdown in real life of him having his phone taken away, like, his internet access? Yeah, but it would it, be like just... taking it from a toddler, dude. I can help you. Hey, how you doing? Can I talk to Edward Hubbard, please? What is it? Edward Hubbard. Does he work there? Edward? Yeah, Hubbard. No. Well, what about Sabrina Hubbard? No. Oh, man. Do you know where they're at? Because I can't find them. I have no idea who, who it even <laughs> is. All right. Uh, t do me a favor. Um, if you, can you take down my number and if you find them, can you give me a call? Because I'm, I'm, like, worried. Okay. Do they work here? Yeah, I thought so. At the McDonald's? Yeah. What's your name? My name is a Hydro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how you doing? I was looking for Edward Hubbard. I'm sorry, you got the wrong number, honey. Uh, I thought he worked there. No, no man works here. Only one works here is Billy. All right, thank you. <laughs> so I got to play this right, all right? All right, all right. if we want to get some real info, we got to play this right. All right. Come on, 62. Hey, how are you doing? Uh, my name's Brandon. I was in there a few months ago doing a documentary on YouTube. Um, you wouldn't have happened to have been there when I was there, were you? I have no idea. Is there anyone else working there that you could ask to see if they, they remember a YouTuber coming by? I, I just need to ask a couple questions. Um, she's in the bathroom. Uh, well, I mean, I don't. Want, <laughs> I don't. That's what she's doing I, I in there. I don't want to disturb her, but um, um, yeah, well, maybe I can ask you. So, I was there doing a documentary on uh, this guy named Edward Hubbard. Have you heard of him? people i don't know names you would remember this guy he's always talking about videos and youtube and I walks mean, around talking into a phone i mean he's always talking into his phone i mean you you would know this guy <laughs> okay. say so he's fat and has a big ass nose i mean I, we're I, i'm just trying to to get in touch with him see like we were supposed to 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 finish the documentary to that much but i thought maybe he would have swung by because i mean i know boone's not that far away but he didn't. He didn't let me know what part of Boone that he's moving into. So you know, I, I, I'm I'm having trouble tracking him down, and I'm trying to finalize this documentary, and 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 he's just he's ruining it, and and I can't pay him until you know. 
I finalized the documentary. So I'm sorry for taking so much of your time. Thank you for the information, though. I really appreciate you. You're fine. Have, bye. You too. Bye. Dude, I, I got a lead. Really... I got a motherfucking lead. Did, did she? Did she? Did she really say no teeth? Yeah, she. <laughs> yeah, she said if it's the guy who I'm thinking of, and then that's when I went in for it, and I was like, and she said no she teeth. Said, and then I said it. big nose, and she said uh huh. No, yeah, she said no teeth. All right, I, I win. I win. We got one lead. Okay, so that's he not has... a lead though. No, She's... yes, it is because he hasn't been there in a couple weeks. Okay, that, so how's that? How's gone. that a lead? Because he's somewhere in 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 Boone, dude. He's in Boone. All right. Hit me with some Boone numbers. Boone Chinese. All right, he's out of Dunbar. This is official. He is out of Dunbar, right. guys. This is like tracking Santa Claus here. All right. All right hit me with hit me with more uh, Boone fucking. All results. right. Well, but if we call the Chinese place, they ain't gonna know where. Family Dude, give dollar. Me the, get, just give me the prison. I'll ask if I. I'll, I'll just ask. Like, yo, I'm tr I'm trying to find somebody. I want to know if he's an inmate. Give me the goddamn prison. All right. Hold on. Uh, well, the jail, you mean? Whatever. I mean, fuck. They got to have a county jail or yeah, something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. We will find help. Green. <laughs> Green playing whack guitar. Family dollar. Hey, how you doing? Uh, my name's Jeff. Uh, I was wondering if you could help me find somebody. Help me find somebody? Yeah, I just want to know, like, if I describe somebody, can you tell me if they come into your store or not? Uh, maybe. Right, I'm looking for a guy named... Um, Barry, though, he's been here for a while. I just started last week. What's his name? Sarius. No, Barry. Oh. He, he's been here for a while. I'm going right. to talk to him. Thank you. I'm not very good at remembering people here. All right, thank you. This is Barry. Hey, how you doing? I'm trying to locate somebody. Do you, does the name Edward Hubbard ring a bell? No, that name does not. Okay. There's a guy... He probably comes in there and buys cigarettes. He's kind of a, a bigger guy. He got no teeth and like a really big nose. Uh, does that ring? I ain't seen him this week. Do you remember if he was filming anything when he? If he was what? Yo, dude, that's got to be him because that dude said... just gave you that information just willy nilly. You didn't have to say you were a cop. <laughs> you just I'm looking for this motherfucker. Well, let me help you. Let me help you. Well, here... But hey, your aunt, you should be ashamed of yourself. I thought you didn't like Edward James Hubbard. But you're going to poke at him because you're so bored and no one cares about your channel. You're over on someone else's channel. You send, a, you send Tyndall there not once but twice to harass a man. But it's really sad that a grown man, Haggy Rance, how does he slander you? How does he slander you? Your real name is not Haggy Rance. Hey, uh, saying goodbye. <laughs> it's been a while since I uh, been on here. I know I wasn't supposed to come on YouTube, but, um. But I wanted to come on YouTube and tell a lot of people how well I appreciate it. A lot of things. I had what it was called a nervous breakdown, if anybody knows what that is. I had a lot going on. Uh... And, uh, with the YouTube and everything else with my personal life, and I broke down real hard. You 
end up uh, put me in the hospital. I've always spoke the truth about a lot of things. But there was some things that I was really getting hurt about and uh, I wanted to do this video for a reason and tell people that um, I'm not coming back for a while. I know three weeks is really long already for me. But, uh, with the situation that people are doing and things like that wasn't right at all. And they kind of hurt me a lot. Um, I did have a nervous breakdown. It was good or anything at all but people have that this goes out to Haggy I don't hate you man I hope nothing but the best for you I hope you keep doing good or whatever you're doing and this even goes to Tendall a lot of people don't like you, including myself, for what you have done to my family, or even to me. But I forgive you. I don't want to see anything bad happen to you or anything at all, and I hope nothing but the best for you. And I hope you have a Merry Christmas, and... I hope you have a great Thanksgiving, man. But I'm out. And I'm telling everybody goodbye. And I'm telling everybody take care. Her. Now. I won't be back uh, for a while. Hey, what's up everybody? I wanted to come here and just say hi real quick and just let everybody know I'm doing okay. Um, I had to do this one quick time on the Doctor channel. Yes, we are live on this. Sorry, my hair is all messed up. Um, didn't mean it to be all messed up um, like this at all. But I had to come and say hi to everybody. And let everybody know I'm doing okay. Um, remember, Papa, when you said that you came to my house and you never showed up at all? Remember that? But yet, that left an opening for Tendo to come, and I wasn't even home or anything. So a lot has to do to blame to you, Papa, for that bullshit with Tendo coming to my house. You thought it was funny and doing jokes and everything. But look, that stupid uh, fanboy came to my house. Yeah, all right. Tendo, go to hell. You're gone. Don't even come in the troll count, Tendo. Well, here. Hold on, Tendo. Let's unblock you. You're, it's the real you, ain't it? I unblocked you, so come on. Let's see what you have to say, you stupid ass. Since you had to stalk and come to my house, I guess it's necessary you need to know where I'm at now, right? You need to know where I'm at. You need to come to my new place too, Tyndall, and stalk me. What bar are you going to go to, Tyndall, since you're a true alcoholic? Tindo, you're not going to do anything more on me because I'm going to let you know, Tindo, I got a surprise for you. 
you make another thing on me, Kendall, or do anything else, I got a surprise for you coming up. You live in Virginia, right, Kendall? Roanoke, Virginia? Why don't you be a man to tell me where you live at, and I'll come and visit you personally, face to face. You too afraid?